Matt. Welcome to Global Defense News and Analysis. Today, we examine the evolving beast mode configurations of three major stealth fighters, China's J-20, Russia's Su-57, and the US F-35. Each of these aircraft, designed for stealth superiority, has adapted to carry external weaponry, significantly increasing their firepower at the cost of radar visibility. This article compares how each nation has implemented beast mode in its flagship stealth fighter, its advantages, and strategic implications for modern air combat. China's J-20 Mighty Dragon, in beast mode, the Chengdu J-20, China's most advanced stealth fighter, was initially designed for stealth and air superiority missions. However, recent images reveal that the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAAF, is equipping the J-20 with externally mounted weapons, increasing its firepower. In beast mode, the J-20 carries six petaliters minus 15 beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, BVRAAMs, with four stored internally and two mounted externally, along with two petaliters minus 10 short-range air-to-air missiles, SRAAMs, in its side weapon bays. This configuration expands its engagement range, allowing it to dominate aerial combat. However, externally mounted missiles compromise its stealth characteristics, increasing its radar cross-section, RCS, and making it easier to detect. China's beast mode strategy suggests a strong emphasis on long-range engagements, leveraging stealth for initial operations, but equipping additional missiles for extended air dominance. Russia's Su-57 Felon, in beast mode, the Sukhoi Su-57, Russia's first fifth-generation stealth fighter, was designed for multi-role operations, including air-to-air -air and air-to-ground strikes. Unlike the J-20, which primarily focuses on air superiority, the Su-57 incorporates a mix of stealth, maneuverability, and weapons flexibility. In its beast mode configuration, the Su-57 is equipped with KH-59M2 air-to-surface cruise missiles for precision strikes, RVVBD long-range air-to-air missiles for extended aerial engagements, and R-74 short-range missiles for close combat scenarios. These weapons enhance its ground attack capabilities and provide greater operational flexibility. However, due to the large size of Russian munitions, many must be carried externally, significantly reducing the aircraft's stealth profile. Russia's approach prioritizes high firepower and mission flexibility, ensuring that even with a small fleet size, the Su-57 can deliver devastating strikes in high-intensity battles. US F-35 Lightning II in beast mode. The Lockheed Martin F-35, designed as a multi-role stealth fighter, has a well-documented beast mode, optimized for high-intensity combat missions. Unlike the J-20 and Su-57, the F-35 was specifically designed to transition between stealth and non-stealth configurations, based on mission requirements. In its beast mode, the F-35 can carry up to 14 AIM-120 AMRAMs for superior air-to-air -air combat, GBU-31JDAMs, and small diameter bombs, SDBs, for precision strikes, and AGM-158, Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missiles, JASSM, for long-range attack missions. This configuration allows the F-35 to maximize firepower while still retaining its ability to return to stealth mode once external weapons are released. The F-35's approach ensures maximum mission adaptability, whether operating from land bases or carriers, with the F-35B and F-35C variants. While its stealth is compromised when fully loaded, its networked warfare capabilities allow it to coordinate strikes effectively, making it the most versatile of the three. Comparative analysis. J-20 vs Su-57 vs F-35 Beast Mode. Each fighter has distinct strengths and weaknesses in Beast Mode. The J-20 primarily excels in long-range air superiority, carrying PL-15 missiles to engage enemy aircraft at extended distances. However, its stealth reduction is moderate due to its external loadout. The Su-57, designed for multi-role operations, focuses on a combination of air-to-air -air and ground attack missions. It can carry KH-59M2 cruise missiles and RVVBD long-range missiles, but due to its reliance on external storage, it experiences the greatest stealth reduction among the three. In contrast, the F-35 is the most adaptable, capable of switching between stealth mode and a full combat loadout of up to 14 AIM, 120 AM RAAMs, JDAMs, and JASSMs. While its stealth is moderately reduced, it remains highly effective for both air superiority and precision strike roles, including carrier operations. The J-20 is best suited for long-range engagements, 
leveraging its stealth-first approach before shifting to high firepower combat. The Su-57 prioritizes firepower, with ground strike flexibility but at the cost of stealth. Meanwhile, the F-35 remains the most operationally flexible, capable of adjusting to both stealth and full combat roles as needed. Final thoughts. The future of beast mode combat. The increasing adoption of beast mode configurations among modern stealth fighters underscores a shift in air combat tactics. While stealth remains essential, the ability to maximize firepower when necessary is becoming equally important. China's J-20 is strengthening its air superiority role with external long-range missiles. Russia's Su-57 is compensating for its small fleet size by boosting firepower in mixed air-ground missions. The US F-35, with its ability to switch between stealth and high firepower configurations, remains the most versatile option. As nations refine their fifth and sixth generation fighter programs, the balance between stealth and firepower will continue to evolve, shaping the future of air dominance. Thank you for listening to Global Defense News and Analysis. Stay tuned for more in-depth military and defense updates.